it's, it's a very vulnerable moment for them, a very teachable moment, and a chance to save their life. The West Valley City Fire Department is the first agency to launch a pilot program that helps people get substance use treatment right after an overdose. We're trying to target people that have had an overdose on their opioids and have EMS respond to them to revive them with naloxone and oxygen and the treatments they need to save their life. And once they're stable, offer them initial treatment immediately with the medication that will help them avoid further opioid use, which is called buprenorphine or Suboxone. Paramedics then dispatch peer support from USARA, or Utah Support Advocates for Recovery Awareness, to meet with the patient at the scene or the hospital to connect them to long-term treatment. We always try as peer recovery coaches to meet people where, wherever they're at in their recovery process. Um, but now we're actually able to actually meet them where they're at physically in their homes where they live. Evan Doan, Associate Director of USARA, says these coaches are uniquely qualified to help people find hope amid addiction. Many of our peer recovery coaches have been revived by naloxone. They know what that experience feels like. And so they know how to kind of help people navigate the next steps in the process. This program is an extension of a program West Valley City Fire Medical Director Dr. Peter Talak runs at University of Utah Hospital. The bridge program at the university has for five years offered a 24-7, 365 access to opioid treatment. All patients have to do is show up. Dr. Talak says West Valley City paramedics are glad to participate in this program that gives them a chance to make a difference for their patients. In this case, they have an opportunity to help these patients get off of this, this terrible uh, hamster wheel of overdose and revival and overdose and revival and actually begin treatment to get their life back. And Doan, who is in recovery himself, is grateful to see places like West Valley City do its part to address the opioid crisis. Programs like these are innovative. Uh, they're, they're relatively new to our state, but they are no doubt saving lives.